Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to discuss Libretro and RetroArch and how they managed to restore some of the problems that they've been having. So if you haven't been in the loop lately, uh, RetroArch did get hacked and uh, some hacker destroyed some of their information. They deleted a bunch of files and it's just complete chaos. So a lot of people weren't able to install RetroArch and they were looking for different outlets from other users that have that VPK available that they could share that with the community and I'm glad that there were a lot of people who uh, supported them through this whole chaos and there was a lot of people generous enough to uh, share their files with other enthusiasts so if you are new to the scene of the PS Vita scene you're in luck because they did restore the 1.9.0 stable version so go ahead and download that right away and install it on your PS Vita and also make sure to back up that VPK because you never know when things like this will happen uh, very unpredictable so just make sure to back up everything on your PS Vita and that way you have those files ready to go and if anybody's looking for them like your friend or whatever or someone online you can always help them out which is also awesome to do so they managed to restore their entire billbot server and restore the vandalized github repositories i'll have this uh, blog post in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself and they managed to restore most of the 1.9.0 stable downloads and there are a few missing files such as the ps2 stable and the non rpx wii u builds so for us ps vita users you should be able to use all the cores available in 1.9.0 and uh, let's see here the core installer should work again on any retro arch build very awesome so the state of the github organization most of the affected github repositories have been restored unfortunately there are some shenanigans with github issues that were closed for so for reasons unknown to us these closed issues cannot be manually reopened again so unfortunately github hasn't really been of any help in this department so we don't know what to do about this other than simply move on and ask our users to create new github issues again for the affected repos that's so sad so no real data loss has happened and things should be back to normal on the organization awesome and they are planning to move to a new server a much beefier server and it will double their monthly bill so if you would like to support these guys for everything that they do obviously um, this project exists for the benefit of you know the enthusiast the users it's an amazing application so make sure to support them either through their patreon or through their merch on their teespring store which i did i love their pillows so i had to order one and I wish they had a little bit more design, a little bit more creativity, but make sure to check them out in their Teespring store and see what you like and go ahead and buy that and I'll support the cause. And there's also an option to sponsor them on GitHub Sponsors. So I'll have all these links in the description down below. That way you have a chance to help in with this whole uh, donation cause so that is amazing news for this week uh, this was released back in uh, August 27th so it's been a couple days uh, but it's really awesome that they finally got this all figured out and hopefully it doesn't happen again with their new server and hopefully they will uh, be more prepared for attacks like this so make sure to uh, back up all your files guys make sure to back up your PS Vita I know it takes some time but make sure to just take it out of your day to do that because you never know when something like this happens in the future to any of your favorite, uh, I don't know, applica homebrew applications that we use on a daily. So just be uh, very cautious on that. And thank you so much for watching. That is it for this one. I just wanted to catch you up on the news here with the retro arch hack. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this in the future. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And any questions, comment down below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, guys. Have a great week. And I'll see you guys on the next one.